okay guys uh, today we have got an interesting concept uh, which is helpful for the students uh, who are preparing for mathematics Olympiad and this concept is called a nine-point circle uh, you can see that the definition that is written on the whiteboard is that uh, the nine-point circle is uh, the circle passing through the midpoint of the sides of a triangle so we can see that AB the midpoint is C dash AC the midpoint is B dash and for BC the midpoint is A dash so the circle passing through the midpoints of the sides and the feet of the altitudes then AD is the altitude D is the foot B is the altitude E is the foot CF is the altitude F is the foot so feet of the altitudes and the midpoint of the line joining the ortho center to the vertices so the ortho center is H where the altitudes meet and this ortho center is connected with the three vertices um, HA the midpoint is P, HB the midpoint is Q, HC the midpoint is R. So nine point circle is the circle passing through these nine points uh, that is uh, A dash, B dash, C dash the midpoint of the sides, D, E, F the foot of altitude and P, Q, R the midpoint of the line joining the ortho center and the vertices. So uh, Let's see that uh, why this circle has to pass through these nine points. What's the reason behind this? So from the figure you can check out is that uh, let's see that uh, P being the midpoint uh, of uh, AH. So we can say that AP must be equal to PH. Okay, AP equal to PH and uh, AC dash is equal to BC dash because C dash is the midpoint. So from here clearly we can say that PC dash must be parallel to A dash sorry PC dash should be should be parallel to uh, BH that is BE right okay P is the midpoint of uh, AH and C dash is the midpoint of AB. So on joining them they should be parallel to BH and uh, parallel to BH is same as parallel to BE. So PC dash should be parallel to BE. And then uh, we can also see that uh, uh, AC dash is equal to BC dash and uh, BA dash is equal to CA dash okay a dash is the midpoint and c dash is the midpoint so on joining the two points that is a dash c dash it must be parallel to a c okay i think this part is clear to all of you c dash is the midpoint of a b and a dash is the midpoint of b c so a dash c dash must be parallel to a c and now we can see that p c dash is parallel to b e and a dash c dash is parallel to a c now b e and a c these are perpendicular to each other because BE is the altitude BE is the altitude on AC so BE is perpendicular to AC so PC dash being parallel to this and AC dash is being parallel to this so they must also be a perpendicular pair of lines so now we can here say that PC dash is perpendicular to A dash C dash that implies that the angle A dash C dash P must be equal to 90 degree okay this much angle has to be 90 degree because they are perpendicular to each other and uh, similarly let's check out that uh, in the figure we can also say that uh, AP equal to PH and AB dash equal to CB dash okay so that will imply that uh, PB dash is parallel to CH that is CH can be written as CF okay P is the midpoint of AH B dash is the midpoint of AC so PB dash should be parallel to CH that is parallel to CF and uh, AB dash is equal to CB dash, B dash being the midpoint, and uh, BA dash is equal to CA dash. 
so that will imply k b dash a dash must be parallel to a b okay b dash is the midpoint of a c a dash is the midpoint of v c so b dash a dash must be parallel to a b so we can see that uh, p b dash is parallel to c f b dash a dash is parallel to a b again the same thing is happening here you see c f and a b are perpendicular pair of lines because c f is the altitude so p b dash and b dash a dash they should also be perpendicular so we can say that p b dash must be perpendicular to b dash a dash so angle p b dash a dash must also be 90 degree okay so this particular angle is also 90 degree so we can easily see that these four points has to be concyclic okay because some of the opposite angle is coming out to be 180 degree so c dash p b dash a dash this must be a cyclic quadrilateral so that's why they must be lying on the same circle so circle can be passed through these four points so now cyclically we can predict this thing that uh, c dash p b dash a dash they will be cyclic i mean they will be concyclic so they will be lying on a circle then we can also prove similarly that uh, c dash b dash r a dash they are also concyclic okay and uh, finally b dash a dash q c dash they must also be concyclic using the cycle so from here we can prove that uh, these four points set are concyclic so from here we can say that all the nine points are basically concyclic so the nine point circle is going to pass through all the nine points and uh, we can also check out that since this angle is 90 degrees so we can easily say that p a dash p a dash must be the diameter of the circle similarly uh, q b dash will be the diameter and r c dash will be the diameter because they are subtending 90 degree And parallelly, let's see another two important concepts for nine-point circle. That is a nine-point center. That is the center of the nine-point circle. The nine-point center is the midpoint of the orthocenter and circumcenter. It is also very interesting to prove this because you see that in the figure I have drawn the nine-point circle passing through the points like the midpoint of AB, midpoint of BC, the fit of altitude D and F. So we can see that C dash F is a chord of the circle. So the midpoint of the chord or the perpendicular bisector of the chord and perpendicular bisector of this particular chord A dash C, they will be meeting at the center of the circle. Okay, C dash F is a chord of the nine point circle. So the bisector and A, A dash D is another chord of the circle. So it's perpendicular bisector. So they must be meeting at the center of the circle. So this is the nine point circle. And as you know that C dash is the midpoint. So the perpendicular bisector OC dash and OA dash of the triangle ABC, they usually meet at the circumcenter. So H is the orthocenter and O is the circumcenter of triangle ABC. And since this is one is to one, so naturally this is also one is to one. Okay, so from here we can easily say that ON equal to HN and since ON equal to HN this will imply that uh, the 9 point circle will have a center which is the 9 point center will be the midpoint of the orthocenter and the circumcenter. And not only that we can also see that N is the midpoint of uh, uh, OH uh, and we can also say that uh, AP is also equal to PH because P is the midpoint of H. So from here we can easily say that NP should be equal to half of OA. 
right n is the midpoint of oh and p is the midpoint of ah so this particular line np must be half of the base of the triangle that is oa and oa is nothing but the circum radius of the triangle this is the circum center so this must be the circum radius of the triangle abc so np equal to r by 2 and what is np n is this nine point center and p is a point on the center so np must be the radius of the nine point circle so radius of the nine point circle is half of the circum radius of the triangle abc this is our next particular important result okay guys thank you very much for watching this video and uh, you can email or contact me for if you need any kind of help in mathematics and in the meantime please subscribe on youtube and like us on facebook to get the video updates thanks a lot for viewing this video bye bye